this is a Supreme Court sanctioned murder of what little actual democracy is left in this democracy. If you are a regular person who's ever made a campaign donation before, forget about ever having to do that again. What's the point? It is the dark ages. It is our Dred Scott. Last week, the Supreme Court reversed a century of law that I believe will open the floodgates for special interests, including foreign corporations, to spend without limit in our elections. Whoa, what's got this trio of patriots so riled up about the end of free speech in America? Ironically, it's a Supreme Court ruling about a political film that was actually censored by the federal government. The Citizens United case revolved around Hillary the Movie, an anti-Hillary Clinton documentary put together by the group Citizens United. Lower courts had ruled that ads for the film, or pay-per-view showings, violated the Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act of 2002, which is also known as McCain-Feingold. McCain-Feingold strictly limited what independent groups could say about politicians just before an election, and the Supreme Court ruled that such laws violate the First Amendment. So why is everybody all bent out of shape about big corporations taking over? Well, Citizens United is a type of corporation. It's a 501c4 nonprofit. And the Supreme Court ruled that groups of individuals who come together should have the right to make their political views known before an election, as long as they're not coordinating with another political campaign. To call the apocalyptic rhetoric about the Citizens United decision overheated is a massive understatement for at least three reasons. 26 states already allow corporate donations in this context. Do you think places like Utah, Missouri, and Virginia are more corrupt than states that don't allow corporations to voice opinions on political matters? For decades, many corporations have been intricately enmeshed in the political process, even going so far as to publicly support specific candidates and specific pieces of legislation. You know them better by names like the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, USA Today, the Los Angeles Times, and basically every major newspaper in the country. If we can withstand the New York Times telling us who to vote for, we can probably withstand ExxonMobil trying to tell us to vote for Sarah Palin or against Joe Biden. More speech is never a bad thing, whether it's funded by Citizens United or by Microsoft or by the Teamsters Union. And it's especially not a bad thing right before an election when politics matters most. If you want to get exercised over something, don't get bent out of shape over a court ruling that actually increases free speech. Instead, turn your ire on a government that is vast and growing and helps or hinders corporations based on political lobbying rather than marketplace forces. <laughs>